So every once in a while I find myself in a position where I have a switch I need to replace and the switch is no longer available, especially people that have old switches from automobiles and whatnot. And what I found out is that a high percentage of them can be repaired if you just take the time to take them apart very carefully. There's usually contacts in there and you can clean up. Now here's one that I've already taken apart, but I just thought I'd go through the process to talk a little bit about it. So if you look at the switch here, it's a two position switch. It's got actually it's three position, a center and then one on each side. Anyway, um, it's a momentary switch and it's got three contacts on it. So it goes from center to this side or center to this side when I switch it. But if you take it apart, you'll find that there's contacts in it that you can take out. First you have this part here. This is the part that pushes down on the contacts. It's got a little spring-loaded jobby right there. You can push that thing in. And then if you look down inside here, you'll see where the actual contacts are. In fact, I can take them out here and let you see. This is one that I've actually already cleaned up, but basically I pulled this out of here and I found that the contacts were pretty, pretty black. So the switch was no longer working. And this is a silver plated contact here, the same with this one here. So when I clean them up, I want to be careful not to clean it any harsher or harder than I need to, because I, I like that silver being on there, that plate or whatever it is. It's a good conductor. So what I usually do is I'll start out real gently with a coarse emery cloth like this if it's badly pitted. If it's not badly pitted, I might go right over to the emery cloth, which is, I think this one is about 600 grit. And I'll just go back and forth on the contacts like that. The same with the contacts inside the switch here. You can see one here and one here and uh, one in the center as well. They were also covered with black stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this back together now. Um, and I also add a little uh, dielectric tune-up grease to the not to the switch contacts themselves I don't know if that would be wise but uh, I add it to the um, let me show you in a second here do I have that in there yeah so I, I add it to the the bottom part of the contacts here where this little mechanism goes because this has to slide back and forth so I just put some of this dielectric tune-up grease I got from the auto parts store just put a little bit on the bottom there which I've already done Maybe just a tad bit on there just to make sure it gets on there. And anyway, I put it back together and that should take care of it. I'll be able to verify it with my meter here shortly. But uh, anyway, yeah, I just thought I'd make a video on that. Um, perhaps you'll be in a situation where you, you find your switch is bad and you think it's hopeless. You might just want to take it apart and see what's possible. Anyway, as always, hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Let's see if this stays in place here. Yeah, that's just a momentary switch. Yeah, that should be fine.